Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to make a cable cam for use with the uh, GoPro camera here. And uh, for the mount, all I'm using is the bar mount, which you can get for about uh, $20. And it's uh, designed to mount onto a bicycle, bicycle's uh, handlebars. And so what else you're going to need for this is uh, three of these eight, uh, eight or six inch uh, pipes which are used for irrigation and then also one of the four inch pieces three or four inches I can't remember which um, but it's about that long and then also you'll need uh, one T made of PVC which uh, has the threaded ends on all sides and also one uh, 90 degree elbow which also has threads in both sides you also need two of these clothesline pulleys and uh, all of this stuff you can get from Home Depot. You also need a rod, a threaded rod like this. Uh, it's usually going to be, uh, it needs to be long enough so that you can put it through two of your pieces of irrigation pipe. So uh, this one came and I needed to cut off about I'd say about five inches off of the end of it because it was too long. You also need two of the self-locking -lock uh, bolts and they have the uh, plastic part on the end that makes them so that they can stay tight on your uh, threaded rod. You also need two washers and also one of these which is a uh, patio replacement door bearing for like a wheel for a sliding patio door and they come in two packs um, I think they're about seven or eight bucks total and uh, I chose this wheel instead of using the clothesline pulley wheel because this wheel has actual bearings in it and rolls pretty smooth compared to this one which has no bearings and it's just a straight through rod um, but we'll be needing this anyway so the first step uh, to this assembly is going to be putting together the wheel that's going to hang the cable pulley. So you're going to have this wheel, or not this wheel, but the bearing wheel. And we're going to use this piece to hold the bearing wheel for the patio door which we have. So the first step is to take this and you need to cut off the end of the through bar so that you can pull it out and uh, get rid of this pulley wheel because we don't need the wheel at all. We only need the uh, black portion here. So now you can see that we've uh, cut off the end of the pulley wheel so we can pull the center axle straight through and that in turn takes out the wheel and so now we're left with the plastic uh, holder for the wheel. And we don't need to use the wheel anymore so that you can just discard and the through axle is also not necessary. So you need to do this for both of your uh, pulley wheels, for your clothesline pulleys that you have and that way you'll have two of these instead of just one. Okay and now for the assembly of the uh, new pulley wheel from the patio door into the uh, arm that's going to be holding it. So we need to take the hardware from the patio door wheel and it's just going to be the screw and centerpiece that it screws into like this and that's what's going to hold the wheel in place inside this so first we're going to take the wheel, put it into here, we're going to drop down this side, make sure it goes through, and then just start threading the screw from the other side. And this side does not have a screw hole so you can't really hold on to it very well, but using the other side you can take a screwdriver and just tighten it up. And you don't need it to be terribly tight because it'll hold in place pretty well and you want to make sure that your wheel still moves freely which it does because of how the bearings designed on this one so you can see it still spins and we now have one of the pulley arms uh, completed with a new bearing wheel that actually spins very smooth compared to the clothesline pulley as it was originally and you're going to need to do this twice to two different ones so we'll now have uh, two pieces that look like this and these are going to be the wheels for use on the actual line and we're going to be attaching those to the pipes in just a second. Okay, and for the assembly of the actual uh, rig that's going to hold the pulleys we're now going to take the uh, T piece that we have that's threaded on both sides 
that's PVC, and we're going to screw two of our longer pieces of irrigation extension pipe into that piece. And they don't need to be terribly tight in there, just snug in case you want to ever take it apart. They are kind of difficult to get out if you do tighten them down too hard. And the second one's going to go onto the other end, like this. And so we're going to have the pieces connected together. And this uh, is going to hold the pulleys, which are going to go on either end of this piece. Um, and we're going to use the uh, threaded rod to go through the middle. So that'll hold the pulleys onto either end. And uh, then we're going to be able to attach this piece into the bottom portion of the T. And that's going to be the drop down for holding the camera. And so now we have this portion that will be holding the pulleys and then this piece going down which we can put the 90 degree elbow on to hold the arm for the camera right here. So now we're going to take our threaded rod and we're going to put it uh, through this piece. So it's going to go into here but we need to make sure that we have our pulleys on the end of this. Um, you can see I've already started one of the screws that locks on on this end, so this one's already here. So I'm just going to thread everything down in the proper order, and they're going to slide along it, and we'll just uh, bump it up against this right here. So first thing we're going to put on is going to be one of the pulleys and a washer. So we're going to have the pulley, and you might notice that the pulley is quite a bit bigger than the actual uh, pipe size or the center. So there's a difference there and that's what we have the washer for. The washer is going to keep that bolt from falling through there. So we're going to put one of the washers on. It's going to slide down and then we're going to go and put the pulley on. So now we have the pulley, the washer, and the end bolt on there. And so that'll slide to the side and the uh, nut keeps them from coming off and that's already been tightened down. So this end is completely finished and we can now put the rod all the way through the pipe and so now we have it out the other end and it sticks out about an inch from the other end because that's just about the space you need to fit the next pulley on on the other side and then we're going to do just the opposite so we're going to put the pulley on first and then we're going to put the washer on and then we're going to take the bolts and thread the bolts on and you can get the bolt started with your hand but then you're going to need to hold both ends of the uh, rod at the bolt over here and then also this bolt over here to tighten it down so I'm using just a wrench and a ratchet to hold the uh, bolts that are on both ends here and this way I can tighten one end while I hold the other end so that it doesn't just spin off. The pulleys are tight when they stop moving around uh, freely. Can, they're snug wherever you bend them they'll stay. And you want to make sure that they're both pointing just about the same direction and uh, pretty much lined up with the center posts together. So you can check. Maybe give them a little bit of adjusting and it's just so that you have them set up just like that. And now we're ready to assemble the arm that's going to be holding the camera at the base of the pulley. So we're going to take our shorter irrigation pipe and our elbow and screw, screw those two in like this and then we're going to attach that to the bottom of the pulley. And it's going to just go around and screw on and you want to make it so it's a little bit snug but not too tight and as far as which direction you want it pointing, um, I prefer to have it on the front side so if the pulley's going this direction down the line you don't have this arm in the way of the camera if you want to have the camera up on the top side but uh, from what I've been using as a setup I've had the camera on the downside. Um, and you can also turn this sideways so you have your pulley that goes along the line like this and you have the camera on the side like this or you can turn it back. Um, it's pretty easy to adjust and the whole thing stays pretty snug because of uh, the PVC and the irrigation pipe screwing it together. They're pretty tight. And now that we have that to attach the GoPro camera, um, using the bar mount, again, you just need to loosen it up a little bit. And then, depending on whether you want the camera right side up or upside down, you can just take it and slip it onto the end of the pipe. 
and then you just need to tighten it down. And if you want, I've been using a spacer in between here because this pipe is a little bit slippery for the mount, so you can see it rotates a little bit, um, even though it's tight. Uh, you can take a piece of rubber and put it around the pipe in between the clamp, and that way the clamp will clamp the rubber to the pipe, and it won't twist at all, and it makes for a much snugger fit. Uh, but just for now, I've been using this setup, and it doesn't really move too much once you have it mounted. But you can see you can have the camera pointing on the upside or downside, and then you have the angle adjustments of the actual mount here. So you have this one and this one, and a camera can twist this direction or back and forth using that. Um, and then, so this is set up with the camera like that. If you wanted to have the camera facing sideways, say, or the other direction, so it's rolling forward, you can twist the mount on the arm around like that. And so now the camera is going to be going this direction, and it's pointed forward. And so that's the full cable pulley that I put together um, with the camera on it you can see it doesn't really weigh very much so when it is on the cable I found that it's best to put some weight right about here um, I have about a five pound exercise weight that you can just put onto this portion and that way it'll hold it down and it'll ride a little bit smoother on the cable um, for the rope I'm just using a uh, standard rope that comes in about a hundred foot package from Home Depot it's a uh, poly nylon mix I believe um, and it's a little bit stretchy when you get it up to the full distance between two trees but if you can pull it tight enough then the pulley will slide pretty easily um, problems I've have have just been getting the pulley to go fast enough because these wheels with the bearings are smooth but they're not necessarily uh, free rolling so you do need quite a bit of elevation difference between your starting point with the cable pulley and your ending point um, I might in the future put together a uh, powered system that will just attach to this so it will have one wheel that can uh, power the pulley and uh, have a forward or reverse so it's uh, remotely controlled instead of just swinging down the line with the help of gra gravity. Okay so that's my full cable pulley setup right there and uh, I have another video that shows some of the footage taken with it so be sure and take a look at that.